Hey there, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Jason Hubbard with EXP Realty doing my new new construction home tours. Today, I'm out in East Mesa again. I'm out at Taylor Morrison Homes. I'm out at Haas Crossing. I'm in the Landmark Collection. And now I'm looking at the Cambridge, Cambridge floor plan. So let's take a look at the Cambridge floor plan. This floor plan is 2,309 square feet. It is a one story home with four bedrooms and three bathrooms. And it has either two or three car garages, depending on what you prefer. Um, so you can either get, uh, uh, you can either get an extended uh, room or you can get a three car tandem garage. Really depends what your family needs. Let's go inside, take a look at the Cambridge floor plan. Comment down below if you have any questions. I would love to answer them and love to help you find what you're looking for. All right, coming into the Cambridge floor plan. Uh, nice hallway right down the middle that's going to split off to a wing of bedrooms to the left. And it's gonna split off, split off here to the right to the laundry room and to uh, the garage, that's the first door here. That second door there, that's a secret. I'm not gonna tell you, not till later, okay? Um, but that door there, you have the option of that to be a tandem garage. Um, so but we will come back to that. Okay, as we continue down the main hallway here, after the laundry room, the first thing we come to on the right here is a little dining area or a den, whatever you wanna use this for. Again, nine foot ceilings here. Maybe 10 foot, yeah, these are 10 foot ceilings. I used to be able to jump that high, but it's been a while. Anyways, uh, so, Something cool to check out here. So this just talks about, uh, you know, some of the things about this community. Thoughtful floor plans with three car garages, convenient location to freeways, shopping, dining, entertainment, recreation. Where we're at here, we're right off of the um, 202 is really close. We're right off by the 24 and then we're right by the 60. So from here, you can get everywhere relatively quickly. Okay, uh, City of Mesa has lower property taxes. You get Gilbert Schools with that here. 10 foot ceilings, like I said, yeah, I never said nine foot, I said 10, okay. Eight foot doors, and then this community is has a pretty cool, if you check out my first video, which is on the, the um, Haas Crossing community, we talk about the pool, the sp splash pad, the tot lots, the fitness center, the pickleball courts. Those are not built yet, so you I don't have any photos of them yet, but those are all in store for this community. This community is just in the early phase of development. So as we walk in here, we're in the great room slash living room. Pretty big area here. Uh, two windows there, double windows looking out into the backyard. And then as we come around again, just another reminder, I always like to preface this because my new first time home buyers don't know that this is not what you're getting when you come in and you purchase a home, right? This is a model home, it's fully upgraded. They, they put lots of upgrades in these just to try to make it so you really like it and you wanna buy it, right? So here you go, double oven in this model home. Really cool uh, quartz countertops with some cool gray veins running through them. They use it as a backsplash here as well. These are upgraded cabinets and they're soft closed cabinets and they have the chef style kitchen with the gas and the range hood and the separate microwave. They have a little pantry there and extra cabinets I'm sure here. Okay, let's head over to the master bedroom and check that out. Nice long hallway into the master bedroom. Okay, and the main bedrooms here do have thermostats. That's always important nowadays. I haven't seen them that not that don't have those in quite a while. 
Double sinks here in the main bathroom. This one has the full walk-in shower and doesn't have a tub. That's the way I prefer it. Some people really like tubs. Um, I prefer just the shower. I haven't taken a bath since I was five. So, but that's just me. Some people really like it and enjoy it. I prefer to have the really big shower that it looks fancy. Um, this is one of my favorite features and I really, I have this in my house and I don't ever want to go back. Um, I have a closet like this in my house. I don't get to use it. My wife gets it. I have another smaller closet, but the part I really like is here. This goes directly into the laundry area and stuff. So, I mean, that is something I really, really like. At my house, it does anyway. Let's see what this one goes into. Okay, so this one isn't a laundry area. This is a, a craft room or an office, which would also be super cool. Um, coming in here and working, like if you work from home, if you're a real estate agent like I am, if you're an appraiser like I am, if you're something to that capacity where you work from home, this would be really cool. You can just go through your closet and right into your work area, okay? Here's a copy of what the floor plan looks like. And you can see there's a couple different options. You can have this exercise room off the walk-in closet. You can make this a, oh, this is another expanded. You can expand the walk-in closet, make it bigger. Or on this one here, this could be a bigger laundry room, which is also cool off the walk-in closet. So as you come out of here, now you're in the laundry room. So you still have access to the laundry room from the main bedroom, which is something I really like. But this here will go into your garage on the left. Uh, but in your laundry room here, you also have a nice closet. And this model uh, has above the washer dryer cabinets. But uh, that's probably an upgrade. So coming back out of here, you'll see to the left, we're at the main entryway. If we go back straight ahead, we're in the hall, this other hall wing of bedrooms, starting off with bathroom number two. Yeah, bathroom number two. And then going into bedroom number two. And these are not huge bedrooms. I mean, they're not, I've seen smaller ones, but they are not huge bedrooms. Probably a 10 by 12 or 11 by 11 or something like that. Same thing for this bedroom number three. And bedroom number four. This bedroom is bigger more roomy, it's got a walk-in closet, and it's also got its own bathroom. All right. So as we finish up inside, again, this Cambridge floor plan, as soon as I find it, it's 2,309 square feet, one story, four bedroom, three bath, two or three car garage, depending on if you want that extra exercise slash study or whether you'd rather have the parking area. Um, this, These here are currently, they're starting in the upper 500,000s. Um, however, depending on the time of year, you can get some pretty good incentives from builders when you're in the winter time. We're getting ready to head into that spring season. Those incentives are gonna go away relatively quickly, in my opinion. Rates have been on a downward trend and the market is headed for our busy season, which will see spurred activity. Inventory is low. So if you're if this is something you're looking for, now is a great time to jump in. If you don't, I'm not trying to talk you into it. I'm just giving you facts. Um, inventory is low, rates are dropping, spring is coming. The real estate is going to pick up. Prices are going to likely go up. Incentives are going to likely go down. So that's just reality. Anyways, we'll head outside and kind of check out the lot. Again, these are on six to 7,000 square foot lots. So this gives you a decent idea of what the lots look like. And um, let's go check it out. Okay, as we head outside, covered patio here right outside the door. Now again, this is the model, so it's got all turf and it's got a gazebo here, but you can see, you can get a good idea of what a lot looks like here inside of Haas Crossing in the Landmark Collection. Now all the different collections will have different size lots, but for the most part, they average between six and 7,000 square feet. 
this particular one backs up to the tot lot or to the playground. Okay, so that's pretty cool. I'm sure that's an added uh, expense, but still a cool feature. Okay, as we head back in, thank you again for joining me today on the walkthrough here at Haas Crossing in the Landmark Collection on the Cambridge floor plan. Um, if you have any questions, comment down below. Please don't forget to like, subscribe to my channel so you can see other tours throughout the Valley of New Construction Homes. Um, if you have any questions, feel, to feel free to reach out, 480-588-2281. Thank you again, and we'll see you on the next video.